Uh, today we're going to talk about the idea of solving multi-step equations when you actually do have to use a distributive property. Um, there are many cases where the distributive property exists in a problem and it's really kind of an important idea that you know how to do the right thing. So we're not going to change much from what we've been doing. Still using the same system. Draw the line. But this time we're actually doing baby goes bathroom because distributive property does dominate. By the way, the idea of baby goes bathroom came from the fact that when we were potty training my son, we would be out in public somewhere and he would say, oh, daddy, I got to go you know, pee or whatever. And I would immediately get this fear response and have to go, oh, my, I've got to find a bathroom immediately. And I've told some of the students I've worked with in the past that it doesn't matter if someone was trying to mug me. They could get my wallet in a bathroom somewhere or they could shoot me. But that kid was going to make it to the bathroom regardless of what happened because I was not going to clean up urine. It was just one of those things about me. So baby goes bathroom is the idea that no matter what, you have to do the distributive property first. And that really comes into play in one of the sample problems. The third step, of course, uh, clean your room combine like terms on the same side of that line. Then we've got pork chops and applesauce. We haven't gotten to that yet. We'll get to that soon. Party's over. We've done. That's where you get rid of that friend who's not really a friend, but a friend of friend first, and then your friend, which is in the final step where you just finish them up. So let's look at a couple sample problems right here. In fact, let me uh, use my scissors to cut this thing in half so there's no distractor we can focus. Of course the word solving might be a distractor so we'll move that out of the way as well. Here we go. Now uh, to solve this one the first step of course is we're going to draw the line. So here's drawing the line. Done. Put your foot down. The next step is baby goes bathroom. So I have to do distributive property next regardless because it dominates. I almost put pones there but that's kind of that won't last I don't think. Anyway it's probably over anyway. Um, so I have negative 7 times the quantity 4n plus 2. By the way, the reason that I know it's multiply is because this negative 7 is pushing right up on this parentheses. And like hamsters, if they're touching, they're multiplying. The idea of a distributive property is that I have to do negative 7 times both the 4n and the plus 2, but just not at the same time. So negative 7 times 4 is negative 28n. And then I do the negative 7 times positive 2, which would be negative 14. Some people like to go ahead and put the plus down and then you get plus negative 14. That always messes with me. I kind of like one sign in the middle. You've never been on a street or uh, anyone that's rational that has a yield sign and a stop sign. So I tend to treat them as negative 7 and positive 2 and then whatever the answer is I keep the sign and put that there. So instead of just dogmatically throwing down that plus you might want to think about doing it a different way. Assuming you struggle. If you don't struggle it's not a big deal. Um, from here, I uh, could be doing clean your room, but there's only one variable term and one integer or one regular number. So I'm done. No clean my room required. I can get straight on to the parties over. And since this is underlined, that 28 is touching right up next to the idea, uh, right up next to my n. So I'm going to move the 14 instead. This is negative 28n minus 14. To get rid of minus 14, I'm just going to add 14 to both sides. That'll cancel that, just as proof. See? So I have to do the same thing over here, plus 14. Might be a good idea to write the plus 14s down first and then mark out, but, you know, choose your own adventure. Negative 210 plus 14, just so you can show that I'm just not making up numbers, is negative 196. And now I'm at finish him. This is negative uh, 28 times n or negative 28 groups of. So I'm going to divide by negative 28. Those cancel. Negative 196 divided by negative 28. 7. So n equals 7 on this one. That's terribly written. n equals 7 on this one. Much better. Now let's do one more and then I've got one you might want to try or not. That's up to you, whether you're going to try it. Now, here's one more. This is where the baby goes bathroom thing really matters. Because after you draw your line, which is of course the first thing you're going to do, then you get to the baby goes bathroom. 
you'll be very tempted to do 2 plus 7 and make it 9, and then do 9 times 6 and 9 times 3b, but that's not what you need to do. You have to do distributive property first because it dominates. So I go ahead and do 7 times 6, or, or you can bring the 2 down because you then you kind of get it out of your face. You don't have to see it as much. Then you do 7 times 6, which is 42. Then you do 7 times 3, which is 21. B, so times 3B, 128. Now, I'm at uh, Clean Your Room right now. There's Clean Your Room. So I'm going to be combining like terms on the same side of the equation. So I need to mark up the left side. You may be hearing the announcements in the background. So underline things with one variable or a variable to the first power as long as it's the same variable. These two do not, so it's like the skins team. So I'm going to add 2 and 42 and get 44. Bring down 21B. Now it's kind of like here I am. Here's my friend because they're next to me. This is not my friend. So I'm going to do minus 44. By the way, I should say that even if this was a minus sign, this would still be minus 44. The thing in front of four, the sign that's supposed to be in front of 44 is plus. Don't look behind a number. A number will be shot down by the same girl over and over and over again. So don't look over here to tell you what type of 44 this is or what it's doing. Look what would be there, which is a plus, so you need to subtract. That's just kind of a thing that messes with people sometimes. So I'm at the last step where I finish him. I'm going to divide by 21 because 21 divided by 21 is 1, and 84 divided by 21 is 4, so b equals 4. Now, if you want to try one for yourself, that looks like a 9, but it's supposed to be a 4. If you'd like to try one for yourself, here's a nice one for you to look at. If you're um, you know, watching this as a multiple set, pause it. If you're watching it individual videos, there should be one that says part 2, and that's what part 2 will be.